Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Grab yourself a beverage of your choice and hunker down. Mm. Because today we are going to be reviewing a book that is a wild ride. Wild ride. This would be Sleeper, the omnibus, published by DC, written by one of my favorite writers, Ed Brubaker, drawn by Sean Phillips. Okay, the basic gist of this story is, is we have a character uh, what is his name? Holden. Holden Carver is an agent of International Operations, which is a super secret black ops organization in the Wildstorm universe. It is black ops to the point that even certain black ops Departments don't even know if they exist. And he is tasked by John Lynch, who is the head of IO. John Lynch was introduced in the Image Comics in Wildstorm by a lot of the Jim Lee characters in the Jim Lee universe part of it. Uh, to infiltrate an organization run by a guy by the name of Tao, T-A-O, which is short for Tactically Augmented uh, organism, organism. It's basically a modified human that was, he's really, 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 really smart and all this stuff. And so he's born and grew real fast. And then he just went rogue. The problem with Holden Carver, or the problem that Holden Carver has, is the way this mission was set up is Lynch made it look like Carver went rogue. And this whole, he leaked out that his, uh, his team, he killed his team that he went rogue, and so all the I.O. communities think he's dirty because he wanted this as a backstory so to help him infiltrate Tao's organization. Well, Lynch got shocked and was in a coma, and Lynch is the only person who knows that Carver was innocent that he didn't kill all these people. So he's stuck working in this organization where he's not sure if Tao and his people know that he's a double agent or not, and his own people are trying to kill him. So he's stuck in this organization, and he's trying to work his way through it. Okay? And you have these really cool, cool side characters by the name of... Uh, Miss Misery, who is awesome. I I need to. We know her backstory because in this, uh, in here they the the characters play a game called Origins, and a character will tell an origin story in third person, but it's basically their origin story, right? So. Miss Misery, she grew up the, you know, the, the basic good girl. She was, you know, went to 
uh, the little private schools, had the little dress on, you know, the little outfits. And she didn't drink, didn't smoke, you know, was really smart. And then at a certain point, she just got, she started getting sick and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. Right? And then somehow she did something that bad, something that she knew was wrong. And she started feeling better. And then she figured out that if she does something wrong, that makes her feel better and get stronger. So she, this is, and that's how she feels. That's how she stays healthy. How she stays good is doing things that are wrong. You know, like at one point she takes, she's like, acts like she's going to help this guy in a wheelchair across the street, pushes him out in front of the car. And so he gets, he dies and he's just, and she sort of gets off on that. And, uh, there's a guy named Genocide. He's a bad guy. And just all these super interesting characters in the, just, and then add to the fact that uh, you have Ed Brubaker's scripting and writing. And I've said this on a lot of the other stuff I've done by him. And a lot of other writers when you do this, you can sort of figure out how things are going to go. Just, you know, because there's certain beats a lot of writers do when they're doing these things that after, if you read enough of them and you get enough, far enough in, you say, okay, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, and then it's all going to work out right, or it's all going to end this way. It doesn't happen with Edward Baker. It, it just, it comes up and you're like this, and then it just takes this huge, uh, turn and then it turns another way and then turns another way then it comes back this way and you're just like whoa what the actual fuck happened here and you're trying to figure out keep up with what's going on and you're just enjoying the characters so much like Miss Misery um and it's just you're so intrigued because, you know, like with this one, you're wondering how he's going to get out of it. And the it just, things just progress. The characters progress as you go. You're like, this guy's trying to adapt to the situation. So he's, he's changing. And you're looking at it saying, okay, what would I do in this situation? And, you know, what does he do when, you know, Lynch wakes up? And it's been like a certain amount of time. And it's just things just kind of spiral. And he's trying to keep up with everything. And oh, wow. And you know, the, the, one of the cool things about it is they have, uh, they have what is called Prelude Point Blank, which was written afterwards. And it is. A, uh, it's the prelude to Sleeper. And it takes place from the point of view of Grifter, who happens to be one of my favorite Wildstorm characters. And probably one of my favorite characters of all in comics. So that's a plus. And, you know, you're reading it, then you... Uh, you see how that connects into actual sleeper and I have to tell you I could not put this down it was just unbelievably well done you know you have you have these this vivid art done by Sean Phillips you have just yeah. You know, take a look at Miss Misery right there. You can just sort of tell how much fun that she has doing this type of stuff, and just it's kind of hard to describe this this story other than on the basic terms of what I just did, and because it's it would take a long time to try and get everything in there just on a basic level. And I don't want to spoil things. Uh, 
But I have to tell you, this was, this is, uh, how many pages? I don't know. They, uh, 600 something pages. It is 100 American. And that's, uh, that includes, uh, the prelude and a little post story about 10 pages long that sets up the authority line where they take over the government of the United States. What is that? And then there's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of behind the scenes stuff on there. But I have to tell you, if you're a fan of Wildstorm, if you're a fan of crime noir, superhero crime noir, twisted stories where you're just going, whoa, uh, this is the book to do. You you can't put it down. You won't be able to put it down. You'll enjoy the hell out of it like I did, and I highly recommend this. I'm going to give this a 4.75 out of 5 and say get it because you will not be disappointed anyway let me know in the comments below what you thought of it if you read it or if you're going to pick it up and like subscribe and most of all enjoy your comments